Hey everyone, my name is Steven Senshan and welcome to the Sundance Collab mobile filmmaking course presented by Xiaomi. Before we jump into everything, allow me to give a brief introduction. Xiaomi is the world's second largest smartphone brand. We make all different kinds of phones, including ones focused on high quality mobile imagery. I am the head of Xiaomi Studios, our in-house mobile filmmaking studio where we work with Xiaomi creators all around the world to create amazing short films shot on our Xiaomi phones. In this course, I'm really excited to talk about mobile filmmaking and all of the possibilities that it brings. We will cover all of the basics of mobile filmmaking as well as walk you through how to make your very own mobile film. There will be a total of seven classes. Each class will feature a Xiaomi creator, one of our very talented creators that will work with you and share with you their experience about how to make mobile films. You can check out the Xiaomi Studios website to learn more about the program. Now, let's jump into it. Since the invention of smartphones over a decade ago, smartphone technology has made leaps and bounds, especially in photography and filmmaking. Now, smartphones boast some pretty amazing filmmaking capabilities like 8K, HDR10+, and pro filmmaking tools. You're now even seeing major motion films like Tangerine, High Flying Bird, and Unsane being shot entirely on mobile phones. This surge of mobile filmmaking is quite reminiscent of the DSLR revolution in filmmaking a few decades ago, and the massive impact that it had on filmmakers all around the world. The smartphone filmmaking revolution has the potential to be even more widespread. Why is that? because you're probably either holding one in your hand or you have one in your pocket. It's a camera that almost everyone has access to. Between the unparalleled portability and convenience combined with the unprecedented accessibility of smartphones as filmmaking tools, they have the ability to give people who may have otherwise never had access to filmmaking tools, the ability to unlock their inner creativity and bring their own stories to life. More and more people than ever have the chance to become a filmmaker. But this course isn't a history course on mobile filmmaking. This course is focused on teaching you how to make amazing mobile films. Most of you watching this course are already professional filmmakers or at least have a very good understanding of filmmaking. So we won't focus on teaching you any of the fundamentals. Instead, we will focus on how to translate your skills to smartphone filmmaking. I have seen many extremely talented filmmakers who have created amazing works on traditional cameras, but they find themselves struggling to get acquainted with shooting on a smartphone and find their work not coming out the way they really want. The main reason for this is that they approach mobile filmmaking just the way they would approaching a traditional cinema camera. In this course, we will show you how to avoid this critical error and work within the limits of smartphone filmmaking to create amazing work. So, before we jump into anything else, you will hear one word constantly come up throughout this course, and that is parameters. What are parameters? Well, basically parameters are the limits to what a camera can do in terms of filmmaking. It's important to remember that a smartphone is a filmmaking tool just like any other filmmaking tool. Each tool has its upsides as well as its parameters. For example, a professional cinema camera can capture amazing images, but is also heavy and can suffer from overheating. Smartphones also have their own parameters. The most important part of mobile filmmaking is to understand these parameters and work within them in order to make your films really shine. We'll be going into detail on these parameters in future lessons. Now that you have a framework to work within, let's take out our phones and look at them from this mobile filmmaking lens. You're more than familiar with your phone and its camera app, but let's look at the video mode specifically. Almost every phone has one and even some have pro video modes that give you even more control over your video recording. Well, let's start with a regular video mode as this is what is available to everyone. Here, most phones will have the ability to focus, adjust for exposure, lock both, and start recording. Some phones will even have the ability to change frame rates and resolution in video mode for different uses. Nowadays, as phones become more and more serious filmmaking tools, some phones have incorporated pro modes that provide filmmakers more control over their image. On the phone that I'm using now, I have full control over shutter speed, ISO, color temperature, and frame rate. 
These are meant to mimic what you would find on a professional camera and are very useful to achieving what you would get on a traditional camera. Some phones like the one we are using today will even go further than that and have other pro tools such as exposure verification to make sure that your exposure is correct and focus peaking to make sure that your shot is always in focus. As I said before, these work much like traditional cameras. When using the pro modes on a phone, the key is to get your settings as close to what your settings would be on a traditional camera as possible. Shooting in cinematic frame rates, multiplying the frame rate by two for the shutter speed, exposing correctly, etc. We will show you how to do this more in later lessons. And that's it for the basics. Later in this course, we will be showing you how to get the most out of your smartphone. As I said previously, what makes Xiaomi Studio so special is the Xiaomi creators at the core of the project. They are different filmmakers from around the world that create amazing films with the smartphones in their pocket. We will be featuring a different Xiaomi creator in each of these courses. So for now, I would like to introduce some of them to you and talk more about what mobile filmmaking means to them. We have Christopan from Thailand, Fred from the UK, Louise from the US, and Sally Ann and Bart from Poland. Chen Lu from China will also be joining us, but in future lessons. Hey, Luis. So my first question is for you. What does the future of mobile filmmaking mean for you? Yeah, I think the future of mobile filmmaking is, is very exciting. Um, you know, what's more exciting than, than being, than having an industry that's inclusive to just a lot more people, like having devices that are accessible to everybody and, and these devices are capable of you know shooting short films shooting branding pieces you know shooting commercials you know the more people that that have access to this just you know the the more creative and the more vast our our kind of industry gets so yeah it's definitely exciting for content creators like myself we don't really need to call it mobile filmmaking it's just filmmaking and you know, the cell phone or the mobile phone is just a tool that, you know, we can all use. So the future of mobile filmmaking is that it's just going to be a part of filmmaking. It's kind of creating its own kind of lane in a sense. Hey, Sal and Bart. So how do you work within the parameters of mobile filmmaking? It's mobile filmmaking is a really great one for pushing those parameters. Uh, for example, like being so small and mobile, you can really make the most of very dynamic shots, especially when you pair in it with the gimbal, for example. Um, for like in the finale of the night shift with the with the dance, we were moving fast in between the dancers, getting right in there, like running around. Um, and you couldn't do that with a cinema no, camera no. because it's so tight. We I mean, even, maybe you could, but it'd, it'd be tricky. Tricky and. Given how we were doing it, I mean, we even bumped into like some of the dancers at times. That, that was me, but um, you know, the the spaces that we were kind of squeezing in between during our routine, um, you you probably couldn't do that with a bigger rig. And I think it it definitely helped to to make it even more interesting and and feel like you're more Very immersed. Dynamic. Okay. With autofocus, for example, that can be. Um, a limitation that you have to work with and you have to be more purposeful with how you're choosing to focus because with phones you expect everything to be just in sharp. focus mm -hmm. everything's sharp um, but you can work with manual focus and actually this ends up looking really cinematic um, and you can really use that to your advantage so my next question is for fred why do you choose to shoot on a smartphone over professional equipment i think for me Filming with phones represents freedom and flexibility. When I look at filmmaking, you know, you can, you have, to one end, you have, you know, the very prepared, scripted, storyboarded, you know, crew, big crew equipment type of filmmaking. And to the other extent, you have one person with a camera making a video of their holidays, you know, and with a phone, what I like is you can do, you have the whole spectrum of that. You can do the fully prepared, fully produced uh, Hollywood film shoot, or you can just be shooting on the fly with the phone in your pocket. 
But what's exciting is you can borrow from, you can, you know, you can shoot something with a big crew, but at the same time use some of the things you can only do when you're flexible with the phone in your pocket. And that's, that is exciting to be able to do both. Hey, Christopher. So I wanted to ask you, what does mobile filmmaking mean for future filmmakers? Mobile filmmaking creates a big ground for literally everyone to illustrate their visual storytelling. If you don't have a camera, you can still use your phone to explore a way to tell a story with your own perspective and your creativity. I think this would give both filmmakers and audiences more opportunities to see a lot of aspects of motion pictures in the future that they don't have to stick with just traditional camera in order to make a movie. And that's it for this first Sundance call up lesson. I'm really excited for what's in store in the upcoming lessons. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.